Hello, this is Travis Deerwalt with another edition of Air Power Live. Today, I'm excited to bring to you the hottest thing in the powder coating industry, the Gema Optiflex Pro. This unit replaces, in chronology, replaces the Gema Optiflex 2 that has been the running gun for, I don't know, six, eight years. Um, this unit has brought a lot of features, a lot of advantages, and some serious benefits. But we want to talk about three main criteria. Power, quality, and control. Maximum coating performance, best application results, and mastery of the application. Let's talk about power. Specifically, power boost mode. This is the first gun of its kind. I'm going to show you something really quick here. Go back to program one. 110 microamp and 110 kV. Yes, I did not say 100. I said 110 and I said 110 microamp as well. What does that give us? That gives us a ton of charging power. It's the highest powder charging capacity in the industry. Outstanding coating performance from that. You can coat faster and build more millage accurately with this gun. Precise charging is what we're talking about. Let's also talk about quality and best application results. PCC mode or precise current control regulates the spray current even in the lowest microamp settings of 0 to 10 microamps with high accuracy. It presents, uh, prevents actual overcharging of metallics and high film build applications and is extremely efficient. Well, what does that mean to you? High transfer efficiency. Um, you're going to see less powder on the floor, more on the part, and more on the part quickly. Thirdly, I want to talk about control. Ergonomics, I'm going to step by just for a second. We're going to talk about that in a minute and some, some modifications of this gun. But I want to talk about the e-app. We all have cell phones. I'm just going to grab mine right here. Sorry, that was out of the frame. Gema app is available on smartphones and tablets. What this does is gives you the ability. No, oh, I don't have it linked up yet. This one actually gives you the ability to have open transparency with this gun. This app is easily downloadable uh, on the internet. It, it, this will work from smartphones and will work from tablets, both. Uh, the little icon there says Gema, and uh, the name of it underneath it is eApp. It's not what I named it, that's what it's named. So you can search for that and download it. What does this do? Uh, this smart app with this uh, controller there's your Bluetooth connectivity. It's easy to connect the gun to the app. Um, so we've got Bluetooth connectivity. You can update actually the control unit with the app, the, the control unit software with the app. And you can export data uh, from this unit so that you can study the data from your operators, from how they're spraying, how much powder they're using, Basically, you can export data in a, in a uh, PDF format from the app, which will really help you zero in on where you're winning money in your bottom line or where you're losing money. Then we want to talk about the pump, the IGO7 powder pump. Now, in this unit, this particular unit, and pretty much all units uh, with GEMA, you can opt for the dense phase pump, the AP01. This particular model comes with the IG07, the new pump. You're going to notice something right away with this pump and it doesn't have any right angle or no sharp 90 degree angle. It's more, they call this actually an inline pump design. It takes away that sharp angle. The powder is coming up the pickup tube and takes a slight angle in this, uh, in this pump versus having to make that that hard turn. So take some of the pressure off, but there's a, a couple of unique features with this. One, 
take it off. We have this yellow tab down here. Just push it in. You see how easy I just pulled that out. This is the powder hose. This is the quick release design. I'm going to put the powder hose down. I'm going to pull this out. This insert. This insert looks a lot different than the than past inserts. You're going to see air insert. Okay, let's talk about this a little bit. This is a single component cartridge design that merges the injector and the nozzle injector sleeve. And the good thing about this is when you take this and you replace this piece right here, when you change this insert, it's like a brand new pump every time. So right back to once this wears down, you replace it, you're right back to primo brand new powder coating and flow of powder and air. Quick release right back in. You see, you'll be able to change that within a matter of seconds if you need to online versus a little bit longer than it took with the previous pump. So, let's talk about some other things. That was the, that was the pump that I really wanted to focus on. Two, let's talk about the stainless steel base. You're gonna notice this is stainless steel now. It's not a painted surface. This gives you the ability to not have that, that tough, rough wearing on this surface. It's going to stay clean, uh, easier to clean. Uh, the base is also extended a little bit, slightly from the old unit. You'll also notice that the stand is off to the side. This gives you better access when you're trying to work on the machine from one side or loading and offloading of powder. <clears throat> the top here can be easily loosened for pivoting the top. So you can you can loosen it, slightly pivot the top however you want to position it to where you're standing in the booth and you're good to go. There is a handle on the back of the controller and I'm going to try to turn it around slightly here so we can see this handle on the back. This is a really important feature on this gun. There have been times where people are not paying attention in shops for whatever reason. They've yanked a cable, they've done something, they've tripped, something caught, and the unit begins to fall. It's hard to do it at this angle. The unit begins to fall. And when that unit fell down, the older version had a little bit of a um, a, it's called a roof or a cap on the top, but it didn't quite cover the, the length of everything here. This, if it was to fall down, would actually stop right here and would, would, uh, would stop down on the floor uh, and would keep any of these things from being damaged. So that's a, a nice feature that they have added on with, with um, those issues in mind. All right, now that we've got that back down, you'll also notice that the swing arm has been lowered. Uh, this actually gives us a little bit better position of the pickup tube, uh, slightly lower uh, in the box. And here is a brilliant addition to this unit. See this new color up on top? This new color everywhere up here is actually an anti-static coating. This will not as easily attract powder. So when you're spraying and you're moving around parts, you've got a lot of powder moving into your booth, sometimes you'll notice that some of the powder will come back. And when you're doing your color changes and you're blowing, on, you know, blowing off your pickup tube, you're moving the box out of the way, you start to notice that you have a lot of powder just catching here and building up. You're not going to see that as much with this unit. That anti-static powder will kind of keep that away. So it'll, again, just something else to help with quick, quicker uh, color changes. I do want to say a couple things about this gun. You have the quick, uh, quick disconnect for the powder hose down here below. Everything is fairly similar with this gun, uh, but you're going to notice 
a slight weight difference between this and the other uh, GEMA models, uh, namely the GEMA Optiflex 2. <clears throat> why, and some people are going to question why it's heavier or why it's a little bit of weight. It's not, it's not a major difference, slight difference, but <clears throat> with the addition of the 110 kV, 110 microamp ability, there had to have been changes to this gun. And I will tell you, when you trigger on and off with this gun, you're going to feel the power that this gun has, the simple raw power when it's passing powder through, charging it, and pushing it out. We, we had a, uh, a demo of this gun in Atlanta not too long ago, and a lot of air power account managers and specialists were there. And the number one thing that we came away with was when you pulled that trigger, the, the power that you felt when that powder was passing through that gun, and, and seeing that powder film build so quickly on your parts and so evenly, it was pretty impressive, but you're definitely gonna notice that. So just wanted to bring that to mind. Um, again, not a ton heavier, just a slight bit. Well, it's been fun showing off the GEMA Optiflex Pro. What I would say is if, you're, if you want to see this unit in action, there's one really good way to do that. That's the call air power at our 800 number. We're going to be posting that on the page uh, and ask for uh, or ask to get contacted with a, an account manager to be able to do a demo or have a demo performed at your facility or we'll bring you into our facility to do a demo. Um, on our website, airpower-usa.com, uh, you can get lots of information. You can find the phone number there if you wanted to, or find a lot of information about this particular unit. But what, if you want to speed things up, go to airpower-usa.com forward slash OptiFlexPro, O-P-T-I, F-L-E-X-P-R-O and you're going to be connected to this information and some videos on this unit that you'll find very helpful. Thanks for watching another edition of Air Power Live. And if you'll do this, go to airpower-usa.com forward slash OptiFlex Pro, O-P-T-I-F-L-E-X-P-R-O. If you go to that page, we're going to have a link there that says schedule a demo. Go to that area, fill that out, and we will contact you and set up a demo to bring this gun to you or you to this gun in our labs.